Hello everyone, we will continue our case study for sales order report and in the previous video, we have written all the three queries to fetch data from VBAK, VBAP and MAKT table. Now we will go for two important points. Whenever we are fetching data from MAKT table, and they will drastically improve the performance. In the projects also, you need to take care for those two points, extremely important points. So for the best understanding, I will show you in the debugging mode. Then we will go for those two points one by one. I am putting a breakpoint on 37 number line. Because we can only put breakpoint on executable statements. Now, if I will go to VBAK table, yes, but that date we are passing 23rd August. If you remember, we created the two sales order for this particular date. So whenever I am passing 23rd August, we are getting these two sales orders. Now, same thing, I will pass to the function module. I am running the function module. So, we have two input, creation date and user date. I will go to creation date. We all know creation date and username are select option. Every select option has four parts, sign, option, low and high. I am giving sign as I. Option I am giving equal to. Why I am giving equal to? Because I will only only give the low value of that date. If you are giving high also as a part of test case, then you need to give the relational operator as between. Beat. If you want a full understanding, it is already explained in the ABAP programming playlist. What are the parts of select option? So you can learn from there also. So as of now, I'm just passing the test data. What is the value of low 23rd August? Now I will go to back button. Now I will go to execute. Name is optional, so I am just not passing that. I will go to desktop 3. I am on 37 number line. Whatever that date you passed, this is the date we passed. Based upon this date, it will fetch data from which table? VBAK table and data will come into this internal table. You can check table also. If I'm passing 23rd August, two records are coming for 77, 78. It means same result we will get here also. I'm doing F6. F6 is line by line execution. You can see we got same to same two sales order in this internal table. 77, 78. Now, our first internal table is not initial. Yes, it is not initial. Our if condition is true because we have two records in this internal table, F6. Now, I am on to this particular query. Now, we are fetching data of these five columns from VBAP table, but based upon what? Based upon data of first internal table. This is our first internal table, 77, 78. Based upon this, which column you are referring? VBELN. What is the value of VBELN? 7778. 7778 will go to which particular column? VBELN or which table? VBAP table. It will fetch the data of these five columns and data will come into this internal table. 
if I am doing F6, you can see in this internal table, we have four records, four records of which sales order number 77 and 78. And these are the data of five columns, five columns. Now the most important part start because here we need to go for the performance tuning here, best performance practice. Now, your second internal table is not initial, yes, because we have four records in this internal table. So this condition is true. Now just see here, we are fetching data from which table? MKT table. For how many column? Two column. Based upon what? For all entries of LT underscore VBAP. It means for all entries, for all data of this internal table. And out of this, we are referring which column? Matinar column, which we are referring. So Matinar, whatever is this in this internal table, Matinar. What is in this, in this internal table, Matinar? 42, 134, 134, 42. So these four things will go to which particular column, Matinar, or which table, MKT table, and we will fetch that data of these two columns. Now just see here, how, how we can improve the performance here. You are passing how many Matinar? One, two, three, four. But just see how many unique Matinar? Only two Matinar, 42 and 134. Then why we should pass four times? We are telling SAP that go for the, this duplicate data. Go for this duplicate data. And anyways, there's no significance of that. Suppose if I will go to this MAKT table and show you. If I will go to MAKT table. In MAKT table, if we are passing 42 and 134. If I am passing 42. If I am passing 134. If I am passing 134 again. If I am passing 42. See, I am passing 42 also two times, two, 134 also two times. If I will execute, have you seen SAP is bringing only one time, but still we are putting or we are giving so much stress to the database by passing duplicate data. Rather than this, if I will simply, simply go for 42 also one time, 134 also one time if I will delete this, if I will delete this, if I will go to 42 and 134, see, have you seen I'm getting same to same result, then why, why we should send duplicate data as a input to database table, it is unnecessary load to the database and just think about a real project. In the real project, suppose you have 1 lakh or 2 lakh duplicate entries and that is going as an input to database table. How much stress at that point of time? Then what is the best practice? Rather than going for duplicate, can we pass the unique entries? Because based upon this only, we are fetching data from MAKT table. See. I cannot do this practice for second because for VBAP, what is the input VBAK, VBELN? If you see VBAK, VBELN, they are unique only. But Matinar, we are getting duplicate, duplicate. So why, why we should send duplicate data as an input? So we will just work on this. And in real projects, yes, we should take care for this particular point. Now, how, how I will do this? Just see, as of now, this data is there. 42, 134, 134, 142. If I want to delete the duplicate entries, how I will do? I will sort 
based upon Matena. Whenever I will sort based upon Matena, so 42, 42 will be together. 134, 134 will be together. Then I will delete the adjacent duplicates. Whenever I will delete the adjacent duplicates, we have the single, single Matena. Just see how I'm writing the logic an extremely, extremely important thing from the project perspective. Now, I will go for here. I will write the logic. Now, here, if your this internal table is not initial, it means if this query is executed successfully, I will take a temporary table. Never, never delete from the original internal table. So I will just take a temporary internal table. I am saying LT underscore TAM underscore BPAP. You can give any name is equal to LT underscore BPAP. It means Whatever the four records are coming into this internal table, I am passing it to this temporary internal table. It means I need to declare this also. I will declare this temporary internal table. Control D. Same to same time. No problem. Now, now, after passing the data to temporary internal table, never forget to sort because we will delete the adjacent duplicates. So I will sort this internal table. Sort LT underscore TAM underscore VBAP. We need to sort by which column? Matena. By Matena. We all know this is the syntax of sort statement. By you need to specify the column. Now you need to delete the adjacent duplicates. Means were the duplicates which are together. Now we have a syntax and it's a completely new learning. I will write delete adjacent duplicates from from. We are going for temporary internal table. I am not touching the original internal table. I am deleting the adjacent duplicates from which internal table? LT underscore TAM underscore VBAP. Now you are comparing which field to delete the duplicate? Comparing Matena. Because we have so many columns. But we are only, only taking Matinar column into comparison, Matinar column into consideration to delete the duplicates. Now, four records from this internal table will go to this internal table. Whenever we will sort based upon Matinar, yes, that internal table, 42, 42, 134, 134 will be together. Then those four records out of those four, how many will remain? Two will remain. Now here, here the important part, rather than for all entries of LTVBAP, now what we will write? LTTAMPVBAP and here I will write LTTAMPVBAP. Just see, previously we are giving four things as an input. Now we are giving two things as an input. Just think about real project in which you are sending 5 lakh, 10 lakh, 20 lakh entries. But out of that only 10 and 20 are unique. So why, why we should give unnecessary load to the database? This point will drastically improve the performance. If I will show you in the debugging mode, how it will work. I will directly put a breakpoint here because now we need to learn this part. I will execute. What is the sign I? What is option equal to? I will put same to same date. 23rd August. You can go for any test case based upon your system. I will go to debugging. Just see. 
am on 52 number line, four records. Temporary internal table, blank. I am doing F6. I am on 53 number line. So four records from this internal table will come into this internal table. Done. Have you seen? Same to same four records are in this temporary internal table. We are doing sorting. Whenever I did the sorting based upon matinar, have you seen 42, 42 together, 134, 134 together? So this will delete also. This will delete also. We are deleting from temporary internal table, not the original, because original is LTBBAP. We require as it is, yes. Now I'm deleting from temporary. And have you seen in the temporary how many records are there? And are they unique? Yes, this is unique. And based upon these two entries only, we are fetching data. Have you seen? We have same to same result in this internal table. There is no difference at all. So what is the first important point of this video we covered? Yes, never, never go for duplicate input data. If you think, yes, bypassing the duplicate input data or unique input data, the same result you are getting why why you should send duplicate data so in that case take a temporary table sort and delete the adjacent duplicate it will highly highly improve the performance in the next video we will go for another important point to improve the performance so that's it in this video thank you